I am Nika. I am German. And I am Pamela. And we are your Tinkerbells! Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we have this mug, and inside this mug we have 10 statements, which is all about some concerns and problems of just like us, just like students, and we're about to give our opinions and solutions to these problems. So, well, given our statements, we have some and not here. 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 Oh, you got this. And with a drink. drink. So, to start with, and then let's start with the next part. So, let's start with the first. Okay, so okay. Let's start Receiving a low grade on projects or assignments can be devastating, especially if you work hard for it. Um, okay. Well, receiving a low grade on projects, uh, I think that it can be devastating to the part of the student. It's because, you know, we as students, we put our effort into the project and then then the score that we got was just low, but then me and my part of the student, I can understand it's because I think that it's just the teacher's strategy or it's just um, the intention of the teacher to, to do that for us to learn from our mistake. And we should consider that mistake as our as a uh, my as, as a stepping stone for us to, to be better, to improve ourselves in the future. In the next opportunity, what if you or she will give another project or the next level? So that's why that we should practice this. So yes, I agree with you, German. Although you received a low grade, so mm. it means that you need to exert more right. effort. Yes. Does it doesn't mean that, that it's just the end of your legacy as a student? Well, mm. there are a lot of opportunities. Each one of us is our new Yes. Next so, question. Okay, next question. German. German. So, I want to be the one to pick. That, uh, that you should not be discouraged if you get a low score from your teacher. Yes. Okay. Just yes. do your best next time. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Next time we'll have a higher grade. Yes. Okay. Of course. Especially to the sections. Well, <laughs> so, but uh, some students may think that it's very difficult. Yes. Okay. okay. Good side. Yes. Okay. Now you should be positive, guys. Okay, so next question. Ah, and I mean, next statement. So this test will determine if I pass or fail this course. If I fail this test, then I will not get into the class. If I do poorly on this test, then I will lose my financial aid. Uh, but, uh, you guys, what are your <laughs> opinions about this? Actually, as regarding, as far as I know, only only students who have a very strict parents say this one. No, no, I think that. Yes, because uh, yeah, maybe their parents are very Icelander. So maybe they think that this test is the way or the way which can measure their capability or they can say that if I'm gonna pass this test then I'm go I will go for it but it's not then but you know what it's not good yeah so, I'm going to take that I guess yeah I guess this statement um it's not bad to fail the exam so it is not really good that you will if ever you will fail the exam and you will not go to the class again mm -hmm. because yeah. No, it's not like that because once you get a failing grade in the exam, that's not the end of the world. You have another chance to, to study well and get a higher grade. You know, there are a lot of students who think like that. That um, just like me, sometimes I that I also have that kind of attitude where I got a low score and then it's like that. Um, I do not have any attention or I do not really like the subject at all. But mm -hmm. then I think that that is a bad attitude for a student. It doesn't mean that, for example, you really love mass communication and then in your 
or a communication, let's say in your oral communication subject, you got a very low grade, it doesn't mean that if you got a a low grade in your oral communication subject, which is really connected with your mass communication course that you will take in, in the college, it doesn't mean that you will not proceed to that kind, to, to that course. It's because that's your passion, right? If you really love that, then you go for it. Oh, you go for it. There are a lot of challenges that you need to face before you will be successful. Yes. It's part of the students. Yes. Okay, so next question. Okay, so, so, so. we have you know, for that. Okay, Nika. So, next question. Giving some motivational quotes by your test may also help Help, help you to keep your going when you experience low motivation. <laughs> I always have that one, but yeah, really. Wake up in an event every day in your high school days. I always write the Bible verse. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But every time I feel low, every time I feel sad, I just say, I just watch the quote. It motivates me. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's in our quotes. It's a very good thing that you have someone to read to in times of trouble and good times that you are down. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Um, um, we're not, I'm, on, I'm not on your page. We're not on the same page. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, um, last year when I was in grade 10, we had a locker. And that locker, I put a lot of a lot of, I put a lot of motivational quotes and inspirational quotes and also at the back part of, our, of my notebook but then, you know, just like that, it, it doesn't motivate me at all I, I, think that, uh, I don't know too, maybe it's because it's all up, on, um, it's all up to the person, it's all up to the student if he or she will be determined to take the class or to take the to take her or her studies um, seriously and I think that it's all it's all about student. Anyway, it's a lot of money love that. Well, you know, if you have to make a for me it's helpful because uh, for my <laughs> for my three you know, I change uh, my wallpapers every day and <laughs> yeah every day you go for <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, I have a daily Bible experience. And does it motivate you? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Me, in my case, I don't believe like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whenever I get down, I don't usually watch the quotes that I directly pray. Yeah. yeah. And when I pray, I, I will cry. <laughs> yes. And uh, well, maybe it, it is good for or it is really. Um, what we call that, it is applicable to some students, but then, like, yeah. well, for some, maybe it's not. If you would just put it into action, it's not. Well, yes. that's, well, that's my opinion. It's really up to the student. He or she will follow that, or mm -hmm. will change herself. Or well, then it is you to have uh, some motivational quotes. Oh, some students want to do in their ideas. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, I put them on that. Oh, yes. Last year, my classmates. And not only motivational quotes, there are also motivational pictures like your iPhone. And you can really, um, you know, and we also have our families. Yeah. And I think it's like a short question. And there goes. This is not. Strumming <laughs> 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 for task is not a recipe for success. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 Having it helpful is because the brain, your, uh, the brain is working it's because of your adrenaline and of course the, uh, the lessons or the concepts, the terms or those things that you study are really fresh in your mind but then I think that it is not it's because once you cram, you do not really understand at all you are not 
You're not understanding. You're not understanding. If you're just memorizing. Yeah. You're not analyzing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like for example, those board exam, those people will take the board exam or those board passers. So of course they need to study months before they will take the exam. So they will not cram. Of course, so how can they pass the test if they will cram? Right. So that's it. Well, that's but thing. you know what? I always go cram. <laughs> Oh, because I always study in the middle of the end. Yeah, I so for those students who are like that, so we yeah. should be talking that. Yes, we need to be young that are brave, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's me whenever we have a relationship. I usually cry if I have no grades, but then it's also my fault because yeah. I always do cramming. I really have. I really have the bug to be so like before the test, I remember everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my face is all like that. Is, it's, mm. it's it's in my tongue. It's in my teeth. But it's like something that's coming. Grammy, I hate grammy. Well, me, I do not gram. Oh, I do not, I do not gram. Uh, but sometimes I gram is because um, like for example, a week before or just like Saturday or Sunday, I study. But then I'm not sure if it is the taste of my mind or if it is really stored in my mind. But then even if I do not study the night before the exam, and then there, um, and then uh, the day after that, yes, uh, tomorrow there is a what they call as a exam. And then even if I do not study at all, then I can I can really answer it because I I go I can remember it because I studied it on Saturdays or Sundays and weekends. Or of your free time, or you can also study like for example after the discussion of your teacher. of your teachers, then you can just review your notes. Just like that. I wish I could be you. But then, 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 Exams are always stressful because you are under pressure to do well. <laughs> Exams are always stressful because you are under pressure to do well. <laughs> yes, because you are under pressure. What are your opinions about this? Okay. Yeah. Um, that means we, need, we really need to do our best because yes. it, it really affects us. Yes. I can really like now we are in a more standard school. Yeah, we have high school. We need to pass this type of grade. <laughs> so we are very pressured to get a high score during our session. What, well, what if we have a lot of what ifs in our mind? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that. Um, it comes is a really stressful and it's a pressure for us to then But then we must take it, we must take it positive, positively yes. because exams are a way for us to learn something, for us to put for us to put our learnings into application. It is not for us to, to be fully matured and to have enough knowledge, right? And we should, we should not be like, yes, it is pressure, the, like, yeah, it's really pressure, but then, yeah. But then, you will not feel pressure if you really study more. Yeah. If you study, 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 you will not feel that it's stressful because it feels like you know everything. Mm-hmm. So there's no need to be stressed because I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, for example, our classmates, you know, we're not too much like yeah. I am, I guess. Like, the class are not stressful but for them. Maybe you study more. Okay. 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 Okay.
So question is, oh, let's this. Not liking a teacher of the subject or having an uninspired teacher can lead to dislike at the subject itself. Oh my god, are you guys going to relate to this, right? So, uh, all of us, okay, so, uh, but for me, um, not liking of the teacher, I think that it's, um, if you really love to learn, if you really want to have a good grade, then I think that you should already face a situation wherein you have a terror or an uninspirational teacher. Well, um, let me relate this to my experience last grade 10 when I was in grade 10. So we have this kind of terror teacher, which is really, really terror, and she yeah. is our teacher in, okay, well, but that she is our just, she is our teacher, and she always gave us negative comments as in she is, she is not the an, an, an inspirational teacher, which is a terror one. But then, um, you know, at the end of the school year, all of our classmates really showed their talents. Like me, I'm not really that flexible during the first grading, but then the only subject that I know, I already know how to dance. I can do a lot of things physically, and of course, our classmates know how to sing already. Others can paint like her, and it's already a um, professional job. I mean, it's really good in painting or doing some art work, and I really appreciate that. So, <laughs> You know guys that um, teacher really inspires us because um, we do better before because um, we, really, we really want to get first standards mm -hmm. and that's why and it and also, us. Mm -hmm. what if in college mm -hmm. so in college not all professors are are good so there are really there and for you to pass for you to be able to have a good job of course you need to you just need to take it as a challenge and yeah. an opportunity also to show the reason that I can. Yeah, yeah. that's the time that you should do such things if you're good that you can do that. You can be you can be what she can. You can be what she really wants you to be. Mm -hmm. yeah, in my case, this is very true, not like in the future or subject of the like the subject for me, not in my case, yeah, that's very true. I also have a teacher who's very a terror in the last three days, but that's yeah, bro, that, that doesn't mean like if I don't like her subject, but no, I will but no, I will feel I will feel it dying because me I also really don't like to fail even though I am not intent to be right or I don't like to I don't like to fail because I just want to pass to make my parents proud. You know? Yeah. So, and I also have this uh, yeah. uh, okay. So if you do not like the teacher then like the subject. Yeah, if you like the subject, then like the teacher. So I yeah. guess that, that's the answer, right? That's both from my great night teacher. And you must all stick that with your mind. Okay, like the subject or like the teacher? I like both. <laughs> you should like them both. <laughs> for your class. And also, you should, as a student, you should be also responsible for the yeah. I mean, I think that. It's also the teacher's strategy for the school to learn. Yes. Mm -hmm. For us to improve ourselves. Yes. For us to improve ourselves and learn for them. Because it's their duty. Okay, so, I think that's it. So, that will be the last question that we're going to answer. Yeah, so guys, I, we hope that you learned something from our video. And so, students, don't lose hope. And, Always do your best. Yes. Yes. And again, see you in our next one.